Minister. Uvadel it doesn't look Anderson nice, Hall. everything he, he does, but many times he, get the, he gets the job done. He's yeah. got dynamite written all over each shot he throws, hasn't he? Exactly. So with Rico's dangerous, he does start slow. He does have a bit of a slower reaction than, than a lot of heavyweights at times. He does kind of fall asleep and get caught with, with big shots. But nevertheless, okay. he'll be up for this because it's the biggest stage. Because if he's just joined us here on yes. K, K1 Rising here in Madrid, I'm Vinny Shulman and with me, three time world Muay Thai Good champion match. Kieran Kettle no, and the legend no, no. that is Ernesto no, Hoos. And no, tonight's no, show no, has no, been no, one no, of the best no, we've no, just no, even watched or even commentated on. Kieran. Uh, we've seen the best no, fighters in the world just no, go toe to toe. We've seen no, knockouts, it's an incredible action. No doubt we're going to see some more now. In the black and yellow wow. shot, Sergei Lashenko, and in the black with the little bit of white trim, the young Rico Verhoeven. 24 years of age, Sergo, Sergei Lashenko, and in the black shorts, the young man Rico Verhoeven at 23. A cautious cool start, which is unusual yeah. for yeah. these two. Very true. It looked like Sergei uh, lost uh, lost some weight. He was a lot. Uh, he had a lot more weight around his waist before, which I don't understand from such young guys. By the way. Well. Listening to the way you did it, Ernesto, it was always good and it's clever. To catch exactly. him with the leg, no, it's clever to me. He's got to keep in shape, haven't you, all the well, time? Oh, that's very important, I think. I'll just suck my belly in as Ernesto sits next to me. There's early heavy exchanges. No doubt we're going to see as the round opens up. Some nice kicking from Verhoeven. So those guys are really heavyweight, heavyweights, and they're always looking for a big shot. Like this. Wicked overhand right from Lashenko. Kishenko. Kishenko's in his corner. Lashenko. Inside hard leg kick from Verhoeven. There's the combination to back from Lashenko, but straight in. Again, Verhoeven with kicks. Yeah, I mean, Lashenko very scrappy as he steps in going for heavy shots. He's been taking some kicks on Verhoeven as he steps in, but both guys still very dangerous. Concentration etched across these two fights. So it's a nice inside leg kick from Verhoeven. Them big legs nice. really working. It was nice, but it was also very dangerous. The moment somebody throws a right, you make if the moment you make the make the kick like that, most of the fighters let on let their hands drop, and then you can be in trouble. Wise eyes, wise words of the legend that is Ernesto, who's who sat with us. This has been a great show. Good hand speed from Lashenko. Both guys have definitely come into the fight with a game plan, haven't they? So Lashenko usually steams straight forward, straight in, but he's got a hell of a lot of respect for the moment here. But also they look very cautious and they look very uh, respectful to each other for, yeah. for each other's you're that, uh, when, punching power. When you're, that, when you're that big, you're gonna, aren't you? I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna talk to the man knows. Oh, it's what true, but, uh, but, but sometimes, you know, they fire up right away. Yeah. Even in the heavyweight. Tell you what, those kicks are so hard, Shots, aren't they? Really Look at the size of his legs as well, for Hooven too. Exactly. Huge. Combinations going in from Lashenko, but Hooven kicking well. He's keeping his chin down as well, Verhoeven. Nice body kick in the right hand from him. Alfa uh, is very composed and he, uh, it looks like he sees everything coming. You know, it's like what you said before, Ernesto. Oh, that's the, the first you round. know, that's a real mature performance, hasn't it, so far? Yeah. With, with uh, like you're saying about Rico Verhoeven, it's a mature performance. Yeah. He's not sticking his chin up. He's not taking too many risks. No, he's not. I mean... Oh, he's as still, as, as I say, he's still a talent. But now he's, he's already acting a little bit more mature. Yeah. Something uh, you should do and me, Kieran, sometimes, I think. No. At mature. No, <laughs> we're not going to. But I tell you something, this has been an, an absolute pleasure doing this show. It's been absolutely amazing. Who's... That, sorry, we've gone away from the fight a little bit. Who would you say has won the first round? Well... Very, very close because I've seen oh, the man from Ukraine has been very aggressive with his punch combinations, but he's been caught with some kicks as he steps in. So it's very hard. It's it's very, very hard. I think it's, 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 it's a draw. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Yeah. Yeah, you will. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> going to disagree. <laughs> Even if you're wrong, I'd be well, right. The difference cannot be big. 
round two of this three three minute round k1 rising action ukraine versus holland starting off with sharp hands behind the jab Lashenko listening to the wise words of mike passanet in his corner well, Lashenko earlier on in the year thought, thought Daniel Giesen got caught with a head kick, so maybe that's Verhoeven's plan to sort of try and catch him off guard with a heavy kick. Yeah, but you must have the timing to do that. That's completely true. The timing and, and also the will. Ah, nice good exchange of kicks going in. Good kicks from Lashenko, a nice hard kick back from Verhoeven. They're so fast as well, the heavyweights. Powerful kicks from both guys there. They both look still so concentrated. Good to see. Big boys on the big stage here in Madrid. Exactly what he said. Looked low. Yeah, he did. Exactly what he said. He's got to be careful low kicking out of Yeah. Kind of switches off a little bit. One, oh, I think one so, second, I mean. yeah? Okay. I would like to catch my opponents those, that, that, those moments. You take the kick and then make the punch. Ah, okay. He must hurt. be hurt now. He's looked back at his corner as well. Already. I think he's hurt him already with low kicks. Verhoeven. Oh, he did a few nice, he did a few nice counters with the low kicks. And he, they take him now inside and outside. When you, get caught, when you get caught with low kicks like that, it just takes away all your power from your punches well, as well. Lashenko keeps looking at his corner as well. So he's, he's in some sort of distress. But the thing is, Lashenko always stay powerful, always stay dangerous. He's really hurt that leg, the lead leg of Lashenko is hurt badly. And low kicks of Verhoeven really sharp. Lashenko puts a lot of weight on The only thing is I don't understand feet. why he doesn't keep on kicking on the outside of the, of the left leg. I don't think he's seen it. Oh. I don't think he's seen it. But his corner must have seen it. Yeah, of course. Hooven just sort of switching now. Not too yeah, sure why. He's I, letting this slip away for Hooven, isn't he? Is. Like, I think so. I, I don't know why he goes to the to the to the right leg instead of the left. I did say he switches off. He just kind of switches off, and it looks like he's doing that now. Yeah, but he hasn't done it for for at least uh, at least a minute and a half it's already true. in this round. Again well, maybe it's part of the game plan. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard Dennis shout low kick then, yeah. There again, you go again. now he's starting to listen. Yeah. Oh. Maybe something like that. You don't listen to his Break. 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 Oh. You know the, but you know the thing I think that round. makes the round even, and otherwise he would have won this round. You know yourself, though, Ernesto, with being yeah. a trainer and I've been in many, many corners of some great champions. Uh -huh. you, you can't make them do what you see sometimes. No, 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 that's very true. That is very true what you say. And uh, But they must know what's happening, and they must know that uh, uh, they made a good hit, and a few good hits. So. You know, they should realise. Was that a natural feeling for you, Kieran? Was that a natural feeling? Is it something that you kind of sense when you're in there that your yeah. opponent's hurt? I mean, you can see the low kick there, but if I'd landed so many low kicks like that early on and I saw that it took its effect, I'd keep going. I wouldn't always just yeah, throw it on its own. Exactly. I'd disguise it with a combination, you know, which I'd like to see from Verhoeven. Maybe he will in round three. Maybe well, that's maybe he will, but um, sometimes he was throwing a high kick and missing completely. Well, the low kick was so much easier, so I don't get it, you know. Well, round three of this three, three-minute round, heavyweight action. And I'm so privileged to have Kieran Kettle and Mr. Ernesto, who's Mr. Perfect. With me commentating, it's getting an education in the sport of K1. Say that Rico Verhoeven needs to start working a little bit more. Yeah, you know, still, I... Uh, I don't know what they said in his corner, but I would try to start uh, in, in, in hitting, hitting on his, hitting uh, Lashenko on his left leg right away. Definitely damaged, isn't yeah, he, Lashenko? Definitely. Yeah, even moving round there, he's there still fairly go. hard. Yeah, he's going inside. Oh, okay. So you'd like to sort of this sort of gap. You'd like to see Rico just sort of throw the combination yeah. with the low kick at Shot the end. The these, these, are the, these are the moments he has to take. Yes. I mean, especially when uh, Lashenko makes the left, he have, must make the right low kick. That's better. Yep. Lashenko still scoring more. 
The sinker score scoring more. Yeah. Hard body kick there. He must have hit the elbow of Lashenko. Inside leg kick again from Verhoeven. Still very close though, you know. He just needs a bit more speed, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, this, this, these kind of low kicks, I don't know why he doesn't give them more, but. Frustration on the face of Mike Passaneers. He shouts to Lashenko to listen to what he's saying. Combination. Oh, hard shots there. Yeah, they uppercut, were. The uppercut was uh, really good. There's some leg kicks that the human should be landing. I mean, Lashenko's not hardly lifting his legs. No, he's not, he's not defending one you know, low he's kick, not defending, is he? So, so that means he's hurt. Stop! Low, the low, low. Low blow there, yeah. It's one of these things, isn't it, where the, the Rico, I'm sure, will look back and go, oh, what was I thinking, you know? Yeah, that's very true. But, you know, when you're on a big stage like this, sometimes you've only got that one opportunity, yeah, Ernesto, you know? And you've got it's to make true. the most of it. You've got to try and impress the crowd, impress to the worldwide audience watching. We've got to impress yeah. the judges. That's the main thing, isn't it? Well, that's the main thing, exactly. Hard combinations goes in from Lushenko. Good kicking skills from... Rico, that's the low kick he needs, but back look comes Lashenko again with storming combinations. The dying, the dying last minute. Well, I think Coming down. Moment, for me, uh, Lashenko is winning the round and maybe also the fight. Yeah, he's wanting it more as well. Yeah. Certainly is. Yeah. Showing more will, more determination. Got to give credit though to Lashenko, the hard low kicks. Getting kicked off a man like Rico Verhoeven, I mean, it's something else, isn't it? It is, yeah. You know, he gets closer, digs away, doesn't he? For three, four, five punches with a little rough cut at the end. On the day in seconds of this final round. And Lashenko scoring a lot with his punches. End of the third round. Again, the round ends early. The round ended early, but oh, nevertheless, Ernesto, will re do you think, well, you're obviously say, siding with Lushenko taking that victory? I think so. I mean, uh, I think he showed more determination, he showed more pressure, and uh, Rico scored, made the, the nicest, the best scores, but I don't think that's enough. Yeah, you're going to see there in the replays, you know, exactly like Ernesto said, he counted with kicks, but it didn't really take the toll in the end. He should have thrown more low kicks, should have found a combination for the low kick at the end, and he could have finished it. Exactly, and more, most of the time, Lashenko was starting the action. Yeah, and that is very important for the judges, of course. He, he kept coming forward, plugging away. You can just see there in the replay, look, yeah. off that counter of a, of a body kick. There's three punches there. He just yeah. threw more, didn't he, Lashenko? He, he did. just threw exactly. a little bit more. For me, it's like... Ladies and gentlemen, we have an extra round. Well, so surprising. That was surprising, wasn't it? That was surprising for me. Well, that's the beauty of K1. You know, there's no draws when there's a extra rounds to be played. You don't count the last three rounds. It's all about this round. It's all to play for. Well, we got an extra round here. In Madrid. I think obviously the score in the leg kicks of uh, Rico Verhoeven and maybe because he's blocking the punches of maybe, maybe, maybe going all day, maybe, could have been, yeah, course, it could have been all day. Uh, basically, I think that uh, the, 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 the fighter that attacks more is always in favour, but uh, uh, maybe uh, the judges saw Rico score more more clear kicks and more, more clear maybe punches. Cleaner shots, yeah. Cleaner shots, exactly. Extra round on this, though. I mean... So all, all in one round, mentally for a fight, it's very hard. Sometimes it is. When you doesn't, when you when you think you won and you have to do an extra round, it can be very frustrating. Especially when you're giving it your all for three rounds. Exactly. Exactly. And Lashenko. Lashenko isn't kicking though, is he? He isn't. No. I think he can't because of the damage to his leg. Well, maybe that's also a reason why Rico, why it's so wrong. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking because Lashenko isn't kicking at all. Really is the kicker versus the punch. It certainly is, yeah. yeah. It's a mature performance uh, by by Rico Verhoeven, though, isn't it? It is. It is. A, it is. It is mature. On the other hand, I think he should 
he, ha he still has to grow. He, I mean, yeah. He still now for me he shows his he's, he's still the, the talent, but I mean he's getting the age of a of a, of a real crack now. Yeah. I, mean, I think he has to show it. Okay. Right. Uh, like kick there again. Like that, you know? Yeah. That's very smart. Standing side bow and then kick him on his on his right on his right leg. Those are things I like. You see the good Yoshenko. combination there from from Rico Verhoeven. Sergei Lashenko showing a good chin. He rumbles forward. But what I like about it is that uh, they both don't want to go backwards. They all they both look for a fight. But Lashenko's but it looks like Lashenko's going backwards, doesn't it? And then back he comes. It's a tit for tat. This is another difficult round. It's very right, difficult. Exactly. Right. Huge but determination from Yeah, it certainly is. But still, it looks like uh, Lyshenko's slowing down a little bit. Missing more now. Ooh. Hard low kick there for him. Rico, they're both showing tiredness now. A right hand uh, bounces nice the, across the chin. Right. The young man for him. Right. Dennis Crowell's Jim. It's where you can see a stoppage on from the car yeah. because it's where people mistakes get made. Oh, oh, you so see that he's, he's, he's hurt on his legs. He certainly is. And that's what he's feeling, but he's still pushing forward. He's he used still to just pushing let them forward. Go, doesn't he? You know, that is determination. Yeah. That's all. That's what all fighters should have. So the fighters' heart, heart of a lion. Both boxers showing real good skills. <laughs> Thirty seconds to go. I tell you what. I'm I'm really, really I'm, not, uh, I'm shutting up now. Uh, I don't know what's going on. So for a big guy though, he's exceptionally fit, isn't he, the Shanker? Uh, yeah, I mean, they all are from Mike's, aren't they? They're all fit. I mean, it's a big stage, K1 Rising, it's a big stage. And you see that, looks bad on the judges. Showing dominance, showing strength, but back he comes with blistering shots. Rico Nisa throws something back. Lashenko has not stopped coming forward. His legs are going to be mightily sore hey, tomorrow. And Esto, no, I'm not going to ask you. Let's be quiet. Uh, well, Let's blame Kieran. Kieran, who's won that one? I'm going to go with Lashenko purely because that last sort of 30 seconds to a minute, he just showed a little bit more willing. It was very much like one for one. But just at the end, he just throwed, you know, he throwed more. Yeah, but it's still same close, to though. Same to me. Either it's another, another, another draw or Lashenko. OK. Well, you can, I can agree with that, throwing more of the shots. I'd just like to see Rico have a bit more speed and a bit more snap. You know, delivering things quicker, a bit sharper. He could be a force. He's got the size. He's certainly got the age on his side and the talent. Yeah, I mean, he's a strong man as well. We've seen him fight many times with, with knockouts. But, um, you know, he's still got to develop maybe a little bit more. I'm not too sure. Well... You know, the, the, the fights in the final 16 have been mesmerizing. Absolutely. Haven't they? And coming up is another dangerous, dangerous fighter, Daniel Gita. What can you say about him? And Esto, what do you do? You, uh, what about, what about, what about let, 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 let's cut to the chase. Badra Hari versus Daniel Gita is the one that everybody wants to see. Me too. Us two. Us three. Me too. Absolutely. Uh, I'd love to see that. That would be an absolute classic. But Daniel Gita's got to win, and so has Badra Hari. It's not a foregone conclusion, as Myrtle Grunhart proved. Ladies and against we have the of this contest. By a two against one, the winner from the blue corner. Oh, there you go. Let it correct.